Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. I'm a little sick. Sorry about my voice. Okay, so I've been thinking about this picture for a little over half my life. One of my favorite books is about it. I made a Vlogbrothers video about it. I even own a recent print of it. And so when Sarah asked if I'd be interested in making an art assignment video about the picture, which is known as Three Young Farmers on Their Way to a Dance and was taken by the German photographer August Sonder in 1914, I said, of course, and started doing some research. Whereupon I fell way, way down the rabbit hole. One of the great pleasures of research for me is that I can become consumed by it. Like, I started out on a German-language newspaper site about who those boys actually were, where I learned that they were not, in fact, farmers, and then pretty soon I was on genealogy sites and looking up military records and Google Maps and obituaries. I just love that feeling of being lost in a world of research. Like, Rebecca Solnit wrote, Lost really has two disparate meanings. Losing things is about the familiar falling away. Getting lost is about the unfamiliar appearing. And as I learned more about the young farmers who weren't actually farmers, I got both kinds of lost. This utterly familiar picture turned out not to be what I thought it was, and something unfamiliar began to appear. Along the way, I learned about two other pictures, which I couldn't find anywhere on the internet and I don't think have ever been publicly seen. One was another photograph by Sonder taken three years earlier that showed one of the boys, Otto Krieger, with his family. The negative for that photo was probably destroyed during World War II, along with 30,000 other Sonder negatives, but there seemed to be a print of it somewhere. The other picture was a postcard sent home by the boy in the middle, August Klein, as he and Otto prepared for war. I mean, I understand this is not a big deal to most people, but those boys are the subject of one of the most important photographs of the 20th century, and there were more pictures of them out there that could give us a glimpse of their lives both before and after the critical moment of history that was the late spring of 1914. But despite combing through every Sonder picture ever published, I couldn't find them. And then, after a few days, I was at a dead end, when it occurred to me that I actually knew a team of extremely talented cyber sleuths in the form of two Tuataria, the community that sprang up when Rosiana and I were running a scavenger hunt before Turtles All the Way Down was published. Tuataria is very, very good at solving mysteries, and so I asked them for their help. Could they verify what I'd already learned and possibly hunt down those two other pictures? Indeed, they could. Via correspondence with the extraordinary reporter Reinhard Pabst, we eventually found the pictures and secured the rights to share them. Here is Otto Krieger, age 17, three years before Sonder took took the famous photograph, and also three years before Otto would go to the front to fight in World War I. And here are Otto and August after war has broken out. You will note the distance between their expressions in the famous photo and in this one, which was only taken a few months later. I tell the whole story, or at least what I know of it, in the art assignment video, which I'll link to in the doobly-doo below, but I wanted to tell the story behind the story here for two reasons. First, this whole experience has reminded me that just because you look at something or someone every day doesn't mean you're seeing all that there is to see. And secondly, mysteries large and small usually don't get solved by one person. Like, we talk a lot about about the human capacity for competition, but I think our secret weapon as a species is our capacity for collaboration. So thank you to Reinhard Paps and everyone at Tuataria for working together to give us two more glimpses into those young lives. Hank, I hope you enjoyed the art assignment video. Again, the link is below. I will see you on Friday. P.S. We're opening up some more slots in the Life's Library Book Club if you want to read books with Rosiana, me, and a vibrant community of readers, which incidentally includes many people from Tuataria. You can learn more at lifeslibrarybookclub.com. It's something I would have tweeted, but I don't have Twitter. Alright, I gotta go drink some tea with honey in it.